All right, guys, welcome to episode 60 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with yo, me, got yo. Milo here, Maddie in the back, Tori somewhere back there doing something. We're back with another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up. Everyone. Don't forget to do that, man. And for everybody Facts. that went and copped some merch, the merch is in, man. Go ahead to teespring.com, man. Type in Dope Talk TV and you'll find our merch. I'm telling you, bro, we appreciate everybody that's been supporting with that as well. So if you want to support, you know what I'm saying? We're going to leave the link in the description. But yeah, man, nah, we're back thanks. with another one, bro. It's a celebratory one. You know what I'm saying? We hit 60 fucking episodes today, bro. Nah, for real. It's been a grind, hey, bro. Anybody yo, that be doing this, they know. 60 they know. episodes ain't fucking easy, my this guy. Shit, this shit ain't easy. Um, It's hard work. And you know what's crazy? You think that we're putting in the work now? We actually have to go even harder facts so we have to go way harder so we got to improve every day if you're not improving every time then what you doing nah, what you fact. Doing? like That's there's a no fact. point so well, yeah welcome guys you know I appreciate yeah, welcome you guys. first time viewers we appreciate you for coming and vibing with us everybody else that has been rocking man dope talk family you already know it's all love man but Thanks. um but yeah man today we're chilling we're cooling we're vibing had a couple brews, you know what I'm saying? Smoking a yeah, joint. Look, read my shirt, man. Yeah, man. Support Listen, the good support times. Support good times, man. You know what I'm saying? Support like, it. You got to. You have to. You got to support the good times that you have because just, just embrace, man. Just, just, just appreciate the day. That's what. That's what I think. That's like the only positive news I got for today. Yeah, man. And that's it, a, that's a positive message, man. Embrace the day, cause you know we're all victim of that. We all fuck around and like we we think about next year and what we're trying to do, and yeah. we forget that what we have going yeah. on right now today is yeah. like you're you're good, bro. If you have a roof over your head, you have some food in your stomach, and food in your fridge, you got a car to get around. Then you blessed. You you're blessed. blessed, bro. Blessed. Absolutely you know blessed, so, man. So uh, you know, be grateful for what you got. You know, and yeah, for the no, day, and that you're alive. Because if you're facts. alive, you're winning. You yeah, no, nah, for, sure. for real. So be grateful, man. Be grateful for what you got. And that leads, you know, that's a good segue into um, be grateful for your parents, man. You know, be grateful for your parents. Yep. Like, I remember being little, bro, and taking, you know, taking showers with, with my mom when I was like three <laughs> years years old, four years old. Yo. Like, she fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, parents. Yo, people think we're weird because we took showers yeah, with our parents. Who did it, bro? When you're a fucking kid, bro, like, you take shower with your siblings, you know what I'm saying? With your parents. Yeah. Like, there's pictures of dads holding their kids in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I, I some remember. shit. I remember stepping in the shower with my dad and, you know, teaching me, like, yo, like, you got to clean your fucking penis. Facts. You got to learn how to clean your penis, Facts. bro. So this is what you do. You know what I mean? You show me. It's called hygiene. You got to teach your kid nah, how to bro, clean Nah, bro. Hygiene yourself. is important. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're... I mean, not especially when you're a guy. When you're a human, period. Like, it's important. But, like, yeah, guys, we, you, you got to learn how yeah. to take care of yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I remember forever. seeing the bush. You know what I mean? The I remember, fucking yeah. 70s bush. Yo, my dad had a bush the size of a goddamn afro in the God 70s. Goddamn, son. That shit was a fucking toupee. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. That shit was crazy, man. And, you know, I thought it was normal. So, when I was 13, I grew a fucking bush. Yeah, no, I know a lot. I grew one. <laughs> well, yo, let's get into that. What was the first time you you looked at your shit you're like, yo, it's getting too wild? Nah, it like was, I gotta I, shave. I gotta was, cut this fucking bush. It though. was my first time in puberty, fucking shaving. I re everybody remembers that. If you bro, don't, if fucking... you can't relate, go down in the comments yeah. and tell us, man. Because if you can't relate to this, bro, then you probably never went through puberty yet. Like, nah, seriously. And it's like, <laughs> yo, you, you look down. You ever look down like you're a kid? You just went through puberty. You're like, fuck. You don't even know what the fuck is going on. You look down, Facts, you just like to... getting hard ons in gym class and shit. You don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't know about y'all, but I remember the first time. <laughs> I remember the first time fucking in middle school, like, yo, seeing all these other guys fucking growing our pit hair. And I'm like, yo, when the fuck am I going to grow mine? Facts. Every man goes through that stage. Yeah, I don't bro, care what y'all say. I went through that stage with my beard, bro. I swear to yeah, God. Bro. Like, I was a big ass, tall ass nigga, and I could barely grow a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a goatee. And I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, niggas, have four, niggas are five, four foot 11 and have f fucking grown beards and shit. Like, that's, that's fucking trash, man. I remember those days, man, for real. And it was a life changer, for real. Because it starts to realize, like, man, you, I'm a fucking man now. Yeah, you're a man, bro. Fuck. You start seeing the changes. And you know what I'm saying? Like, when you go through that stage, man, that's why, that's why you start fighting. And, like, you're certain your dominance as a male. Mm -hmm. You're finding out who's the alpha, who's the beta. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, straight up. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
not, but people really think it's weird that, you know, I shower with my dad and shit. It's like, yo, like, you know, you just mad because you didn't get it. Yeah, I'm a fucking dad. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, facts. Nah. <laughs> nah, real shit. The niggas be salty. Be trying to make you seem like a lame for having a fucking yeah. family. I remember like, my what dad. what the fuck? I remember my dad putting fucking shower cream, like, uh. Shaving cream. Yeah, teaching you how to shave. Yeah, but he took the blade off, and it, it looked yeah. like I was fucking shaving. But you weren't. Yeah, yeah. You, you know gotta, what I mean? Bro, you like, have to, man. Yeah. Cause look at you now, you fucking hairy fuck. Fuck, I didn't think I was gonna get a fucking. <laughs> yo, I'm hairy. I got hair all the way from my crack to my ass to my fucking sack. And I'm gonna tell you what. Thank you, Dad, because literally I got all the hair in the wrong places but my head. You know what I mean? And it's trash. Yo, damn. No, nah, it's not trash, but nah, I love it. Fuck. I love it. I That's... love it at the end of the day. Because, like, it kind of fits me, in a way. Nah, it does, bro. It does. Nah. But there's a couple of things that's been going on, man. Um, What, this past week? Yeah, this past week, man. It's been a shitty week, bro. Rest in peace to King Vaughn, bro. Um, Man was only 26 years old. That's my age. You know, so yep. I'm looking at it a little bit different. Like, damn, nigga, like, that, you... We got so much more to live, bro. Like, nah, we real. got so many plans for 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. And that man won't get to see, uh, to get to see it. But the thing that gets to me, bro, is like, you know, everybody makes a fucking big deal when a cop shoots somebody. But when we shoot each other, nobody gives a fuck. Damn. Nobody gives a fuck. Ain't nobody out here talking about, yo, bro, like, what the fuck? That ain't right. Yo, there was three people. There was five people shot. Three of them are deceased. All of them are fucking black, right? Nobody wants to fucking talk about how that's wrong, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And listen, bro, I have, you know what I'm saying? I have African roots in my fucking, in my family tree, bro. So I'm not speaking out of term when I say that, bro. We got to treat each other with respect if we want other people to treat us with fucking respect. Because if we're just out here shooting each other in the fucking street dead at 26 years old, what the fuck are we doing, bro? Like, what are we doing? Seriously, what, what are, are we, we really doing? doing? What what does Black Lives Matter really fucking mean at the end of the day? Like it, it doesn't mean it, nothing. It, it if... doesn't mean when it's only a white person that kills a black Fact. man. Black Fact. Black Lives Matters means everybody. Black Lives does, Matter. Black Lives Matter. Like literally, it's not okay for another black man to kill another black man. And like, you don't see nobody else fucking protesting, walking down the streets, calling all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's bullshit. I really yeah, do. Yeah, bro. It, it's just it's an escape, bro. And then you know. A lot of people end up going to the race card when it has nothing to do with race, bro. It's just, it's reality. At the end of the day, bro, we you got to treat yourself with respect, bro. It's like when a female treats herself with disrespect. She's out here fucking sucking everybody, dressing like a fucking hoe, and then she gets treated like a hoe. You can't fucking get mad. Yeah. It's the same thing. You can't get mad when somebody calls you a thug, bro, and you're out here trying to be a fucking thug. You're trying to be a gangster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And somebody calls you out your name and now you want to get mad. No, bro, treat yourself with respect, bro. Treat yourself with respect and I promise you, bro, everything else will fall in line and people will treat you with respect back. Some people might not. Some people won't. Those are fucking ignorant people to begin yeah. with. You not know everybody's going to no no you, we can't get everybody to think the same, bro. Facts. We really can't. And you guys need to understand that that's reality. We can't change everybody's mind. You got to worry about yourself, man. And, and just worry about yourself. Worry about your family. That's how you make the difference. You trying to change your neighbor's mindset. Nigga, nine times out of ten, bro, people, people will listen to what you have to say and not give a flying fuck. They're still going to believe what they believe and do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Raise your kids right. Raise your kids to love other people, to respect other people, to respect themselves, bro. And if we have a whole generation like that, you'll see the world change within 50 to 100 years. But people are raising raising their kids with the same mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. shit got to be different, it's man. It's the same mentality, man. And people talk and about... And it's sad, bro. Yeah. It's sad, bro, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, ultimately, bro, all of those people were a product of their environment. And it's sad. It's sad that they feel like that's the only way. That's fucked. Yeah. Because it's not the only way, bro. Y'all didn't even have to start fighting. Facts. To be honest, that shit was probably not that motherfucking deep mm -hmm. for there to even be a fight, let alone a fucking shootout where five people get shot and three people get killed, bro. Yeah. Like, think about that. Think about that's five people, bro, where they're, all their families are affected. If they have kids, your kids don't have a dad no more. You know what I'm saying? The other niggas going to jail for life. Generations fucked. Generations of people fucked over, over not thinking. Yep. And not wanting to change your thinking. Yep. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And we talking about mentalities, man. 
and people want to talk about oh the hood, you know the hood this, the hood that. Man, yo, look, let's, let's, listen, let's, fuck the hood. Yo, let's talk about on some get on let, some G shit, bro. Yo, fuck the hood. Let's let's talk. Like, let's the hood talk don't about love you, bro. The hood don't love you. Yeah. The hood never. The hood don't love nobody, bro. It preys on yeah. the hood. Preys on the hood. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? True. It's like. Fuck all that glorifying that street shit and this this street code. There is no street code, bro. There is no street code. There hasn't been for a long time in the yeah. 90s. Look at what fucking, you know what I'm saying, Alpo did. Yeah. That's the street code, my nigga? That's the street code? Nah, nah, nah. Frank Lucas snitching? That's the street code, my you nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not like, no street we look code. Up, like, 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 bro, our mentality is so fucked up. Like we look at we look up to Scarface and fucking Frank Lucas and fucking Freeway Ricky and all these niggas that bro they got caught. They got caught and snitched. And half of them fucking snitched. Snitched on everybody. Literally on their everybody. own family members. Yeah. On Frank everybody. Lucas snitched on his own fucking family members, nigga. Yeah. Got thirty two people indicted. But you wanna hate on Takashi. Yep. Yep. That doesn't make and sense. And fucking praise Frank Lucas. Yeah. No, that's not how it goes. If you're going to be a leader, bro, you, you yeah. got to be a leader to the end. It's all about the mentality. Like like I was saying, you know, basically with the stores, you know what I'm saying? We got liquor stores pulled up everywhere. There's a lot, a lot of Indians, you know what I'm saying, that own liquor stores. You know what I'm saying? And the mentality that I just sent you a post earlier that was true mm -hmm. is that, okay, they're talking about the hood's mentality and how everybody's broke or everybody's broke. Okay, and why are they placing all these Indian stores everywhere in these hoods? Listen, why, how are they able to do that? It's not about where you're from. It's not where it's from. It's the mentality. They right. know that they know that you guys are alcoholics. They know that you smoke blunts back to back to back. They, they know that you waste fucking money. They know that your financial fucking stat. Like they know financial... that you're a consumer and not a fucking producer. Yes. Ultimately, when you're a consumer, you're gonna consume. You're gonna spend bread on useless shit, shit that ain't bringing you nothing back but debt. It's a continuous cycle. You know what I mean? It's a continuous cycle, and it it's it's kind of like a generational curse. You it know, is, bro. It, it, you gotta, you gotta break out of that, bro. And 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 that's another reason why, I, like, the people that know us personally, bro. Like you, y'all know that we we're trying to break out of generational curses, facts, bro. Facts. Like, like there's there's mentalities. Th these mentalities exist in our families, bro. Yeah, it's not just y'all that we're yeah, talking about. Like we're like this. Yeah. This is home to a lot of people. And if you can fucking, you know, what I'm saying. If you could relate, go down in the comments and let us know, bro. Because what we're speaking is fucking facts. And I'm talking about like, every every place, every place. You know facts. what I'm saying? Like New York, Chicago, the like, island, Puerto Rico, everywhere. Dominican Republic, everywhere, bro. There's this crab in a bucket mentality, man. And there's a mentality that comes back from slavery, honestly. Yep. Because all those places had fucking slaves there, exactly. and, and a bunch of crazy shit going on at one point. So the mentality skewed, bro. Like it's different. And it's like we got like if if we really want to to break out of the cycle and and you know be up there with the, you know the people that make money like the Jewish community and certain communities that really changed their fucking path. Yeah, we got to start being different because there's no excuse right now, bro. Like think about it: the Jews were fucking enslaved. How many times they were fucking they were uh, like people hated them not too long ago when this Hitler shit was going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were enslaved before too. Yeah. But guess what? They're fucking run, they run banks they now. They run everything that everything that's owned here. Like everything that's, run that's, that's running shit here, they own or at least own a part Listen, of it, maybe bro. half of it. Even probably the full part of it. Listen, all these bro. banks, they all, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no excuse, man. We got to stop crying, bro. For Ultimately, real. man, we got to stop crying. People want to fucking hand out and act like we deserve a handout. Listen, bro. All we got to do, man, is is just work. Just fucking work through it, bro. And get to where you want to get to. That's really all it takes is work ethic and being fucking prepared, bro. Being, you know, not being a lazy person, yep. ultimately. That's all. It's it's all mentality. It's all mentality. And you guys need to understand that shit, man. Because I've seen a lot, a lot of successful people in any type of color. And it's all about fucking your mentality and how that's you raise. That's a fact. And even if you're raised in a poor environment, that's that still don't no matter, that's still no ex excuse. I got, man, there's listen. people that were from the that eating out of the garbage can, and now they're fucking multi millionaires. Look at, look at Doctor no Eric Thomas, man. That man was homeless. Look at fucking Dan Pena. Dan Pena is a fucking billionaire, a fucking worth a fifty billion or some crazy shit. He's brought that much into the fucking market. Like he's made other millionaires and made other billionaires. And this man was raised in Los Angeles in the middle of the fucking hood. 
in the fucking Spanish, Mexican, in a Mexican hood in Los Angeles. That's where he's from. And this nigga's worth 50 billion now. There's no fucking excuse, bro. It's your fucking, it's your mentality. And honestly, bro, a lot of us are soft as fucking dog shit in our generation. Soft as dog shit. As soon as we get a little discomfort or we see that how much work it's really going to fucking take. And you, you start realizing like, yo, it might not be another 10, 15, 20 years before I see the fucking, the, the result. Niggas back off and just want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, yeah. they get conformant and, they, you know, like, you can't get complacent. You can't just conform to, to what's going on around you. You can change it, bro. Yep. You can change it. You're not a fucking tree. You can move. You're not, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like your job, if you don't like the place you live, you could literally fucking save up a couple dollars, move somewhere else, have another job lined up, and see where the fuck it goes somewhere else. There's no excuse. You know, we're in the easiest time to make money. Listen, we're, we're in, in the, the easiest, easiest time, time to make fucking bread, man. And if you're not taking advantage of it, like, I don't know what you're doing. Because it, it, it's it's easier now than ever, bro. Yeah. And we're at the point where it's like, okay, if somebody in your family, oh, my mom, she doesn't fucking agree with what I do. Well, fuck that. Fuck that. It doesn't matter about anybody else's opinion. You guys need to understand that. I've had conversations with people where, you know, they, they think it's funny or they... Or, or, you know, they think it's it's not going to happen or they just give you any type of doubt they could throw your fucking way. And it's like, yo, at it's the their end, own self insecurity. I've had people bro. tell me that personally where it's like, yo, like, I can't believe you said that, you know, on Facebook or I can't believe you said it's like, listen, I had to remind them and let them know, like, I don't give a fuck what you think. Facts. That's all it comes down to is like, I don't give a shit. You can laugh. You can think it's a smart idea. You may think it's funny. You can laugh at me. Tell me to shut up. That's fine. At the end of the day, that's just not going to bug me. Because I don't care about anybody else's opinion. I could take a picture of my ass right now and send it out to everybody. And I'm not going to give a <laughs> fucking flying fuck. No, 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 bro. Facts. Like, and I think that that's, that's part of the reason why we're even able to do what we do. Because honestly, bro, with some of the feedback that we've gotten, you know what I'm saying, throughout the 60 episodes we've done, yeah. other people would have fucking quit. Seriously. Other people would have felt bad. Other people would have got self-conscious. Other people would have been like, yo, what the fuck? Bro. Guys, listen, we promise y'all, we don't give a fuck. Like, we we really genuinely are the type of people where I don't care if you make fun of me, bro. You could try to you could try to downplay whatever it is that we got going on is gonna happen. And that's pretty much all it is, bro. That's all it comes down to, guys. Because somebody else's opinion is not gonna fucking feed you. It's not gonna no, they're, facts. They're, they're not it's not gonna make you more money, it's not gonna make you less money. It, it really doesn't. It doesn't do anything unless you you make it do something. Unless uh, you know we I mean? talk, like, if we're talking about something really really harmful and really wrong, then you know what I mean. Then that's different. Then I, you know, if you're a rapist or a fucking horrible person, yeah, no, fuck you, you do die slow. Shit, that's different. That's different. I'm talking hey, about hey, like, if you're a rapist, die slow though. Real shit. Yeah, I'm talking about like little shit, man. Like like little shit that people just don't like. Yeah, like if like, you're wearing something and somebody is like, "Oh, why would you wear that, bitch? Why would you worry about it? Why'd you worry about it? Why did? Why Are does you? It did you fucking buy the clothes on yeah. my back? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah. don't fucking wear. It doesn't matter what yeah. I'm wearing, nigga. Why did you type this? Because this is how I think. Facts. This is how I feel, and that's the thing, bro. Yeah, people like, like people are people, scared. Listen, bro. People don't want the truth, and and they they get intimidated when people are so blunt about certain shit. Yep, and it's like, bro, you could be just as blunt about your fucking ideas. If that's how you feel, let it be known. You know what I'm saying? Because most people, most people that aren't ignorant are gonna look at your point of view and be like, oh, you know, I get it. I don't agree, but I get it. Yeah, exactly. You and know that, what I'm saying? There's like, still a respect level, right? You know what I mean? And there should be. There's, bro, there like, should be. There's a barrier there. Like, bro, you you don't cross the line and tell somebody, hey, like, I don't like the way you're fucking, you know, you're doing this or something like that, like. I don't know. It's just listen, bro. If it don't, if it's none of your motherfucking business, it's none of your motherfucking business. Right. For example, if it's something small. For example, if if you don't if you don't have kids, you shouldn't be telling people how to raise their motherfucking kids. Seriously, you shouldn't be telling somebody what to do anything with a fucking child, nigga, because you never had one. Yep, and you don't know, you know how what I'm it is exactly. Real shit. That's and I've had pocket. a ca I've had to catch myself doing that shit, and I'm just like, yo, I'm talking out of turn because I don't know what it fucking feels like to be a parent. Yep. I don't know how I would act. I don't know how I would fucking feel. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until you're there. So it's like, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, it's like, oh. then don't then don't talk. Then stay out of you know, stay stay in your own lane. That's the thing I gotta say is like, yo, like I'm not gonna change because you want me to change. Facts, bro. And that's that's a big thing that you got you gotta put in your brain, man. You really do. 
because like you can't switch up because somebody else wants you, man. You really can't. I think that that's how a lot of people end up unhappy, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people end up unhappy because they try to make people around them happy and become the person that they want other people to see. Yep. And then at the end of the night, they're unhappy as shit because they're like, yo, I don't, this isn't me. Exactly. But, but I have to put on this front. And it's like, no, you don't. Be your fucking self. The people that are that are supposed to be around you, bro, are going to be around you. If they, if the people that think you're weird, lame, whatever the fuck it is, fuck them. Yep. Like Bernie Mac said, fuck them right up against the wall. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> Real shit. Like, nah. guys, don't let nobody fucking make you feel like less of anything because of whatever reason. Like, their opinion has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with your talent. It has nothing to do with your work ethic. It has nothing to do with your life. It's their miserable minded opinion yep and misery loves company don't misery loves that. company bro don't uh, ever fucking forget that shit fucking Real um, shit man we were talking about man we we're talking about these women man because yo we we met bro yeah we, nah, we met. yo shout out to the women that's watching us man love for real. yo we love y'all for real you probably well, I mean. shit and you know we respect that we respect that heavy nah facts facts real shit um but yeah you know it, it, it's kind of crazy man we were talking about the situations that, that us men go through and, you know, there's some women, I'm not saying all, some women, they be acting crazy, man, when they need son. Yeah. They don't not need listen, son, if you get what I'm nah, saying. Nah, 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 look. Need son, a yeah, little they, bit more than son. They need a little son, bro. A little yeah. more than a little son, bro. Yeah. Sometimes they get a little, you know what I mean? They get a little mouthy. They get mouthy, but. They get mouthy, they, you know, they no, start getting. You, get, you they bingo, start, bongo, <laughs> bingo. You hit them. You bingo, bongo. You ever watch fucking Meet the Fockers, huh? Bingo, bongo. You ever watch Meet the Fockers? Nah, fuck at it, yo. You bingo, bongo their yo, ass, and then bingo, they come bongo, out. Bingo, bongo, bitch. You already know what the fuck it is. Now, nah, but for real, bro, sometimes women just get a little, you know what I mean? They get a little uneasy. They get a little uneasy when they, you know, when they when they need a little dick in their life. You know what I'm saying? A little like, uneasy. It's, it's just, it's, it's part of nature. No, it's part of nature, but you know Because we get fucking, we, we, we want to fight too. niggas too. We get moody too, you know. We need each other. Hey, bro. As much as we hate each Facts. other. Facts. As much as I don't want you to spend the night, baby. Nah, as much as Because <laughs> I'm a fucking, I'm a square the rope and go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's how I am. Square the rope. Nah, That's nasty, bitch. Nah. You need to go to the doctor. <laughs> if you squirt and rope, bitch, that shit's not healthy, nigga. You fucking... Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Emptied his own insides. Nah, trying to bro. Fuck bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's oh, crazy, shit. man. Especially the Latinas, man. You know, they, they got that extra spice on top of it. So, you know, when they, when they yeah, get bro. that... When they... Bro, nah. You, you, sometimes... You gotta get assertive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a little aggressive get on them, like yo, shut, like yo, I know yeah, what you need. Yeah, shut don't your shut mouth. up, but shut, shut, shut up. Shut your beautiful mouth right yeah. now. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? Shut your fine ass up right now no. before I go over there and, and you know beat your fine ass up. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just kidding, man. Nah, nah man. But shout out, women, man. Uh, nah, shout, shout out to women, man. Nah, shout out to shout out to women. Shout out to men. Shout out everybody, man, bro. Merch. Yeah, bro. Hey, listen. If y'all fucking rock and y'all y'all, you know what I'm saying? You like us, bro, and you want to support? Hey, listen. We need to get a new spot straight up we gonna keep it fucking nah, funky nah, 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 we gonna real. keep it funky Yo, we, we need to... a new spot bro so if y'all can support you know what i'm saying you know what i mean we get, just, a, get you a t-shirt get, get you a we got long sleeves we got hoodies we got masks we got dog hoodies oh, you know what i'm we saying got it all. what else we got we got yeah. regular tees we got woman tees you yeah. know what i mean if you like, guys want a hat we could get that shit yeah, too that's whatever. not an issue yeah so go down in the comments man let us know what it is that you guys really want to see beanies whatever man we can make it happen so let us know let us and, know um, man We'll make it happen, but again, thank you guys, whoever, Comment. all of you guys that, you know what I'm saying, already bought some merch, man, we really, really appreciate you. No, that's love, you. that's love. That's fucking that. love, you know what I'm saying, it's making dreams come true, because ultimately, bro, we got a dream with, with this with yeah. this podcast, and you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a journey, that's why we always say Dope Talk Family, because that's how we really feel, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like, it's we're, a journey, it's man. a, it's a, it's a journey, y'all a family, and we're gonna go on a journey together. Cause we got big plans for giveaways and stuff like that for this channel for the future. So we're trying to look back. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to give back and and you know what I'm saying? Fuck with the people that fuck with us genuinely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's love, bro. Like for real. Yeah. You know what seriously. I mean? Like even right now, bro, it might not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but six hundred something subscribers to us is like, damn, nigga, no, that's, like that's big. That's, that's big. big to us. People that comment, and, you know, they they spend time out of the day just to comment and hit the thumbs Facts. up button. That that means a lot to me. So, uh, you know, we're gonna keep grinding because this Facts. this all started from an idea, you know, just in this to, same living room. In this same living room, this started from an idea, and, and it's and we're making it into real life, into reality. So, Facts. Uh, you know, without you guys, there's nothing. So just remember that's that. a fact.
That's a fast. I think that's a really shit you ever said on this podcast, my hey, dude. man. Without you that fucking, without you guys, it's, it, it's nothing. There's nothing because it's true. Like, like we don't do we don't do this for us, man. We do it because we know that there's a lot of people out there that are hurting. There's a lot of people out there that, that need you know laugh. that just need 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 a laugh and need to get away for a couple minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out of their day, whether it's they y'all watch for three minutes, five minutes, twenty minutes, the whole thing, whatever you watch, we appreciate it, man, yeah. because. You don't have to click on us. You know what I'm saying? We're just two regular motherfuckers. You know what I mean? We're two regular dudes that, like we said, we came up with an idea and now we're trying to make it to the top. But once again, it's been yours truly low key. We appreciate you. Don't forget, link in the description for some merch. And uh, we appreciate everybody. Once again, we love you guys. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Take care of each other, guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.